Now that the dust has settled on National Signing Day, I want to give you my big winners. But before we get going, hit subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. If you watch just one of my videos throughout this recruiting cycle, then what are you waiting for? Hit subscribe because we got a lot to cover. All right, let's get into it. And we'll start with my first big winner, and that is Auburn. The master of chaos, Hugh Freeze, was back at it on National Signing Day. Remember, his top commitments in this cycle all came via the flip. Five-star Cam Coleman, five-star Perry Thompson, four-star Demarcus Riddick, four-star Jamonte Waller. Those are the top recruits on the commit list, and they were all flipped. So doesn't surprise me that Hugh Freeze was back in flip mode on signing day. Now, a big win came early in the day when he flipped top 100 defensive lineman Amaris Williams from UF. It was a huge win because it came at a position of need and, more importantly, it takes a really good player away from one of Auburn's rivals. Now, then late in the day, Auburn landed another prospect at a position in need. It was Favor Edwin. He's an offensive lineman that goes 6'8", 290 pounds. And the day before signing day, Auburn insiders had predicted him to Alabama. The day of signing day, Gator Insider put in a pick on the RPM machine for UF. That was in the afternoon. Three hours later, Favor Edwin signs with Auburn, another big win, and it moved Auburn from number 11 to number 7 with those acquisitions. So that's why they were a big winner for me. Next up, I got Miami. Big winner for me. The Canes now have stacked back-to-back -to -back top 10 classes now that Mario Cristobal is in charge, and they pulled off some late flips. But really, their march to the top five started about a month ago. That was, rem remember this, when they flipped Justin Scott from Ohio State, that was kind of just the tip of the iceberg. The five-star defensive lineman, that was a position to need. They really got it going right there. Then 36 hours before National Signing Day, it was running back Jordan Lyle, another Ohio State flip. Big one. Then on signing day, the biggest news of the day came late, 6 p.m. Five-star defensive lineman Armando Blunt announced that he was flipping back into the fold from Florida State to Miami, 11th hour win. I love what Miami did here because last year the focus was clearly on the elite offensive line hall. This year it's about the defensive line hall, and you can kind of see the roster taking shape under Mario Cristobal. Now, yes, they came up short on Jeremiah Smith. Okay, so what? But they still have JoJo Trader, elite wide receiver in his own right, and they did lose Kevin Riley to Alabama, four-star running back. But that doesn't sting nearly as much after you flip Jordan Lyle from Ohio State. So number four class in America, bravo to the Canes. I love the way they finished here. All right, so if we're talking big winners, then how can we not talk about the dogs? The rich, they got richer on Wednesday, but they also proved to be one of the most electric flips of the day. That was when K.J. Bolton, the number one safety in America, five star, put on the red and black, signifying a momentous flip from Florida State. Recruiting is a battle no matter who you are recruiting. And UGA, they took the Dylan Raiola flip like a punch to the gut. But in totality, when you look at the, the overall class, it's kind of just a footnote of how this class is going to be remembered in Athens. Remember, Georgia finished with 22 blue chip prospects, easily the most in the country. And this class includes the number one corner, Ellis Robinson, the number one linebacker, Justin Williams, the number three linebacker in the country, Chris Cole, the number four tight end, Jaden Riddell, the number two tailback in America, Nate Frazier. They also inked the best and biggest offensive line. They signed six of them. So, those were three of my big winners. Who do you guys think won the day? There's a lot of action. I want to hear from you. Comment section below. Who were the big winners of National Signing Day 2024? Let me know. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that content, be sure to subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We have a new page dedicated only to recruiting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now.